and we're back everyone so let's go ahead and do our oldie route this is in my opinion not the most exciting route because it just it just it just does it every time um but we'll see maybe debating about like not doing this route very often anymore oh, i should have had it uh oh all right, it's good. will we make it yay okay let's see is it gonna go in the middle lane should go in the right lane is what it should do if it's planning far enough ahead it's gonna go right here but we'll see if it fixed the problem that it's had where it crosses lanes. And it did! Let's go! <laughs> so that problem would always cross over the lanes right there. And it's going 22 here. So I wonder if there's like a set limit of 10% over. But then you gotta, maybe that's in the city, this 10% over. If it needs to get in the right lane. There's a car up behind me. It's speeding up a little bit. Probably because the traffic around me is speeding up. Normally I wouldn't go 30 here, I would go 27 maybe at the fastest. Slow. Very good. This is 30 is good here because it's a 25 speed limit. Let's see if it ends up going over 30 when you get to the 25. It, it's going 31. But I think like this is the appropriate speed. This is what people drive right here. Slowed down a little bit too aggressively going around that curve. But that's what I'm worried about on actual curvy mountain roads. That's going to be too slow and timid. Because a lot of people that aren't from the mountains drive really slow going around curves. So I'm afraid that it's going to be biased towards people who aren't from the mountains when it drives in the mountains. So I hope that doesn't happen. So Tesla, if you're listening, make sure the people that live in the mountains are the ones that get the training data for driving in the mountains. See, this, this right here is a little bit annoying. It, it's going 31, and it's slowing down for actually, what's the railroad tracks. Okay, that's appropriate. So it should speed back up to 35 here. Okay, which it did. Okay, good. Yeah, it's definitely af being affected by railroad tracks now, which is great. great. Great to see that that's working. Is that an ion? That's an Ionic 5. That is very wrecked. <laughs> All the tires are flat on it, and the front end got wrecked. That this, this collision center right here must do a lot of EVs because I've seen a Model S there, I've seen, I think I've seen a Mach-E, and now that Ionic 5. And I know a Model 3 has gone through there as well. I'm curious how, what it's going to do when we get to the waypoint, if, that's, if that behavior is different now. Okay, it's slowing down a little bit too aggressively. Is it actually going to stop? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, it's pulling off the road. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. it, it, um, it needs to uh, go... When you get to a waypoint and you cancel the waypoint, that needs to quickly get back on the road. I'll leave that feedback and see if they do that. I'm not actually... The only reason I disengaged because it was going to like a, a um, ditch in the road instead of getting back on the road. Very good acceleration right here and pull out. That was good. Really, wow. Okay. Um, interesting. I accelerated very quickly up there for some reason. It's like it's pre... seems pre-programmed. Like... If there's no car coming behind me, then it doesn't need to accelerate like that. Only if it cuts someone off should it accelerate like, like that. Which is interesting, like, because it, it's learned that from humans. So apparently a human does that anyway. So I don't know. Because I don't normally do I have done that there just for fun, but I don't do it every time. Which is interesting. And what if it's going to pull into the Aldi parking lot? Turn on the blinker. Did 
is slowing down for the wrong parking lot. Um, so I had to press the accelerator to keep it going a little bit so that it doesn't confuse that car right there. Let's see, where's it gonna go in here? <laughs> it went this way even in that because this is the way I always go in the Aldi parking lot. I always park right here. Oh, well, or by that tree over there. That's, that's funny. Okay. Um, we're going to be back once we're out of Aldi, and we'll see you on the highway. And we're back, everyone. Let's see if I can able it in the parking lot when I go forward. <laughs> So I've never done it right here before. Let's see if I can get in the correct lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not counting that because... Okay. <laughs> we are counting that. The car was not following nav data correct and turned right for a left turn. Hey, look, this has happened before in version 11. This is not new, but version 12. So, because it had nav data wrong, it thought it was on the wrong side of the road, it uh, turned the wrong direction. So that's, uh, that's the thing. A human wouldn't do that. So I'm not sure why it's doing this. If they trained enough human data, a human would not do that. So it's still being, there's still some heuristics here that align with the map data. So they need to figure out what's going on there. That, that's not a neural net uh, causing that. If it is, I, something got trained wrong. Because as a human, if my nav data starts here and it goes that way, I'm turning left. There's no reason to be turning right. So, we'll see. See what goes on there. This car will go. I'm only pressing the accelerator. Just okay. I'm not pressing it now. Let's turn the blinker on a little bit too early. I will. Come on, go, go, go. Oh no, no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would have made it through that if it was me. This is a very long light. I'm just gonna stop recording and go. Normally, if I wasn't recording, I would have cut through. That's why it disengaged. I would have cut through and gone for that light to go home because it ends up being quicker this light is so long oh uh cut you once that's once we're back okay we're going to the intersection everyone and they good at the back window opens so i apologize for the noise so onyx can stick his head out the window a little bit i'll close that up once we're on the highway this is going too slow here. So it's interesting how it's gonna affect how, like how's it gonna know, if I don't override anything, it doesn't know it's going too slow. But I think, I think that's the thing. Early testing, I will do this. I'll kind of see what it's gonna do. A few weeks from now, I'll probably be like, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just um, not do that. Turning the blinker on, already the 45, so it doesn't affect. Well, okay, that wasn't great, but back on the highway, we can I don't close his nose in the window. Let's see how it merges on the highway. Because it actually, this is one of the merges it's actually been doing well at. It's not speeding up as fast as it normally would be, which is actually not a good thing. It should be going much faster here. Seems like a more s slow, gradual merge on the highway. And then it went up to 10 10% uh, over the speed limit. I can't help but think that's not like a heuristic thing. Maybe, maybe a lot of people just go 10% over, I don't know. My preference is just five over. Which, you know, eight, nine percent. Let's see, it's gonna go to 65 here, and then it goes up to 72. Interesting. I'm just curious. If I go down the chill mode, I wonder if this drops.
Yeah, because I'm in chill, but it's not gonna pass. But as she, mm, I don't really want it to. I could have got over as the car's slowly coming up on my left. But I think, I mean, for chill mode, this is exactly what I would want it to do. And even though it's going 10, well, 500 is speed limit. Now I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna change it to this. And immediately good, so it does it right away. So I can just change between the modes now. If I wanted to more aggressively change lanes or something, I can just swap the mode. Instead of having to flip the blinker, I can just go boop, boop, <laughs> and it'll change it. And actually, I think I accidentally moved at 7.3. I, I don't want it to go that fast. Now we should be able to pass this semi-truck here, and then what it should do is get back over in the right lane. But it's probably not going to. Would you look at there. That was, that was exactly what I would have done. Like, I was like, I was just about to say, like, right here, it should start changing lanes. Before I could get it out of my mouth, it started changing lanes. So, that's awesome. So, from my point of view, I have a feeling it's going to pass this car, right? It's going to get over again. It, it shouldn't do this because it's about to get to a 55 mile an hour speed limit. From my point of view, it should just go ahead and slow down to like 65, 60. I mean, I guess people are impatient, so they go around the traffic. I don't know how fast this truck in front of us with this RV is going to go, but we're probably going to get in front of them and then slow down. Okay, now it should get over. And because it should, the knowledge just sign right here and start slowing down. I, oh, absolutely no, 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 no. This is why you don't speed right here. Yeah, so, okay. So I record a snapshot. Let's see if they get the hint. This is why I do not want to go 20 over the speed limit right here. It is insane because there are always cops sitting right here. You don't do that. Especially it's a construction zone. You don't do that. So obviously I had to do an intervention, and I have a feeling I'm going to have to intervene every single time right here still, until I fix it. It's, it sucks, because I want zero intervention drive. Maybe like in the morning time, if I put it on chill mode, maybe that would do it. We'll have to see, because, because of this construction zone right here, because the speed limit is normally is 55 on this side of the road, but it's 45 on the other side of the road, that's it. You, you can't go 72 in this area. You just, you, that's not, that's not smart. That's a little bit better. Let's see if it slows down. Now, see, same thing. Look at this. It should not go up in speed getting off the highway. So this is not improved. Um, getting off the exit ramps is not improved in version 12. And now it's using friction brakes to slow down when it d doesn't need to do so. But let's see if it's improved going across the stop sign here. This this seems to be improved on other intersections. So it should be good to go. And it commits! Oh, so much better. Dude, so much better. Way better. Way, way better. Man, that was good. I've, I've been waiting literally years for that to commit like that. So much better. Okay, we have people on the road. Okay, you don't need to stop all the way, car. I um, understand they look like they were going to walk on the road, but they weren't going to. I had the tap to accelerator there. But okay, so that's the end of this trip, everyone. Um, I honestly don't remember. If, I guess we did have a disengagement, but um, there's a lot of things to like about version 12, and definitely when you guys have it, you will love having this version. It is it has another. I think another couple versions will really fix some things if they can get the speed control just refined just a little bit more, so you know it's not speeding 20 over in a construction zone. I think we're gonna be good. If you have any questions for me, as always, put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.